My name is Xavier and welcome back to the toxic rain washing away all my crops and all my plants and all my trees and making life a miserable hell. However, I actually have a plan to solve this. Uh, let me try this really quick. I have some other stuff to talk about uh, as well, but I want to see if I can. Can I just roof over my trees? Is that like a thing that I can do? Let's. Oh, I can't even do that with wood because I don't have any wood. All right. Another thing that several people, or at least Plockets has said, and Plockets is always the man of... Reminding me to put doors in walls. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Let's get three steel doors there. Oh god, did I line this one up? Because someone's gonna flip out in the comments and make me feel really sad if I didn't get it exactly right. Haha, -ha, I did not. It's right. Whoopsie daisy. It's right there. There we go. I'm off to a great start. Definitely. All right, we got three steel doors coming in. Uh, one of the other things I need to do really quick is come up here and turn on tobacco leaves. Yeah, I already had that open there. Uh, I need to also turn on manufactured cigarettes. I believe. Oh, books is another thing I've got as well. Tallow wax, okay. And then where the heck's the cigarettes though? Uh, drugs, there they are. Cigars, cigars, cigarettes, beautiful. Let's copy those settings and paste them over here. Now, uh, I had already tried to record this episode, but I had run into a actual game destroying bug. Like it actually broke the game. I ran into a smaller bug as well where I couldn't get the tobacco leaves to get up there. Um, all these things need to be hauled urgently, guys, if you wouldn't mind, because it's all going to get... Wait, is the rain going away? No, it's not going away. If we don't haul this stuff urgently, it's going to be dead. Uh, corn 39, 35, yeah. Uh, so what happened was the miniaturization mod I tried to enable, and somehow that bugged out something down here. A lot of bricks went missing. I clicked on nothing down here. It's like, turn this on and haul that urgently. Uh, and then what actually happened was... Uh, I couldn't use my UI anymore. Like, the, the mouse broke, the game broke, everything was just broken. I had to actually force close the game and restart the episode. So, which is what I'm doing right now. But if that happen, happens to you for some reason and you click on something, your UI is gone. Uh, it's the miniaturization mod, apparently. I know in the last episode I mentioned that you can use that. Uh, so, I tried to use it and it broke. No idea why. It'll probably be fine if you use it from the start of a campaign. I don't know why it failed on this one. Uh, and then the other thing was, yeah, I couldn't get my tobacco leaves to go into the stockpiles, even though they were set on. And I just tried it now, right before I um, before I started recording this, and it was working fine. So hopefully it works this time around. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, cinnamon's grabbing it all and putting it in the stockpile. Okay, weird. Yeah, I don't know why why it was also bugged out and I couldn't get it to go into the stockpiles. Maybe it was something to do with the miniaturization mod also bugging that out. Uh, either way, I really wanted to try out roofing over my trees here. I don't know if this is going to work, if this is a smart idea. I tried to actually look this up. And I couldn't find anything about it online. But let's see if I can just use some basic sandstone blocks since we have a whole bunch. I'm going to throw in a sandstone wall like right there. Uh, see if I can maybe force someone to get on this really quick. Of course, I'm sleeping in my room here next to my new marble bed. That's beautiful. Absolutely lutely beautiful. Tattered apparel as well on Nimble. Let's go check out Nimble over here. The Tattered Apparel appears to just be the deputy's badge. You know what? Just drop it on the ground then, Nimble. There we go. We got rid of that. Fantastic. Unfortunately, Nimble's now leaving the Ibex on the ground, which, by the way, is going to rot if we don't do something about that. So, bloody freaking hell. There's a lot of stuff to do right now. Let's quickly throw all this down here. We'll come over to this area, grab this stockpile, copy the settings, put the corpses in here. Paste. Great. That way we don't have to come outside and get uh, diseases. Let's grab this and delete it. We don't have to put a roof on that either. Uh, and then hopefully all of these things get butchered up. Speaking of, this is where I'd love the miniaturization mod, so I can move the butchered creatures down there. Uh, but what we're going to do instead is maybe, if I'm, if I'm, if it's possible here, if we do like butcher's table, bloody hell, there's no steel. I mean, there's no brick ones. We can do steel ones. I may actually have to do a steel butcher's table, to be honest. And I think I will put one in there just to get rid of this one over there. And we got a lot of other stuff going on as well. Who is our best constructor here? It looks like Nimble and myself. What am I up to? I am hanging out with Bessie. Yeah, look, you can see like the toxic follow just raining everywhere. So let me grab a meal, making a marble bed. Good idea. As soon as that gets done, fantastic. Let's grab that bed and actually reinstall it over here now, just like that. I am now going to haul wood to steel butcher's table. Not a bad idea. Maybe I can just get that done. Hauling wood. What am I doing? Where the heck? Oh, does it still take wood? I know there's boars over here, but I was actually thinking like... Uh, I'm not trying to grab all these things. The reason being that I'm going to grab the elephants for sure because they give a lot of hides. 
But the reason being that I do not... Ooh, look at all these elephants. Beautiful. Uh, I do not have, for the first time in like six campaigns, I don't have the ability to make like jerked meats or smoked meats or like any kind of meats. I think there's been three different mods that I have used in the last like four different campaigns that have allowed me in one way or another to... Uh, to preserve meats almost indefinitely, or at least for a long period of time. This this time around, I'm playing in the Wild West, where jerk meats were like literally a staple of cowboys, and I can't make them, oddly enough. Uh, maybe I'll ask if they can add that in, because that would be a very good feature, especially because it's much cooler than simple meals. And then I could actually put all these elephants to use, but quite frankly, I'm pretty sure what's going to... Ooh, another elephant. Pretty sure what's going to happen is all these guys are going to rot to death before I can even eat all of them. There's going to be so much, such a huge influx of meat, it's going to be ridiculous. One thing I can do, though, is actually research the electric refrigeration. However, I need to do electricity, and that's actually going to take a long time. So let's just get this butcher's table put together here with myself. I've got wood 20, steel 75. That's sufficient. What am I doing? I'm going to play horseshoes instead of doing what's important. <gasps> Nimble is actually down to 58% here. This is unfortunate to the highest heavens. Let's do this. Let's make a quick quarantine zone. Or at least, let's look at the quarantine zone that I have. Expand allowed area quarantine. Well, I sure did set up that zone, huh? Let's put it in here so that no one can leave there. I could also put it over here because this is where all the food is. Mm, I'm just going to rely on making tons of food really quick with Alicia. Speaking of... We don't want to make fine meals forever this time around. We want to make... Um, how many of these do we want to make, actually? You know what? I'll make, like... Let's see. 6, 7, 8 times 2, 16, 32, 48. So maybe, like, 40. Uh, let's drop that down to 40, then. We will pause uh, down at 30, and we'll call that a day. I think I'll suspend the simple meals for now. Reason being that what should happen here is we have so much meat from butchering in two seconds if I get around to making that that we should have just fine meals for days. Literally, like, for three days. All right, now, I'm done having fun up there. And now I'm going to come down here and deal with this. All right, and then we should have enough meals that... Because I think right here is a stockpile of two. Yeah, so the rest of them will get delivered over here. Meaning, we have to go to restriction and we got to put Nimble into the quarantine because Nimble is currently at 57% toxicity and that is a little bit too much for comfort. There is our nice new steel butcher's table. Let's butcher creature. We'll do this a forever a beautiful. Uh, this table up here, however, we probably want to either suspend it or delete it. Probably, you know what, just deconstruct it completely. All right. Well, that's something. What am I up to now? I'm deconstructing wooden butcher's table. I really want to see if I can put roofs over my trees before they all get destroyed. I can see them actually getting destroyed now. We're down to like half the trees and I'm busy doing other stuff, unfortunately. Here we go. All right. Now, once I get this put in, let's see if I can do build a roof area. No, build a bounded roof area. Oh, bloody hell. Again, I had to come down here and take a break. Come on. Get it in. Beautiful. Now. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So this will prevent the trees from growing, but I think it'll also prevent the trees from dying, which is the important thing. I think. I'm 100% sure on that. But I think that's the way that's going to work. So while this is going on, let's try to make uh, some sort of grid formation here. I'm just going to slap a bunch of these around. Uh, something like this. Can we actually cancel that one that I had put right there? Awesome. And I don't know if these are exactly like what I need here or not, but they should be sufficient. We'll do like one here, one here, uh, like there, there, there. And we'll do the same thing down here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can I do a blueprint of this? Create a blueprint of... Oh, wait, that's actually part of the road. Yeah, another one of the mods that I had done. Create a blueprint of just these six things. We're going to call this uh, tree roof, I suppose, in all caps. You just kind of, yeah, there we go. You just slap it in here really quick like that. And we'll do something similar over here. Maybe like so. And we'll just delete like those guys here and that guy there. And that should be sufficient. Once all these things get done, we can slap in the roofs. I don't think trees die without light. At least I think they'll die faster with toxic fallout than they will die without light. So we'll see if that's the case or not soon. Uh, another thing that I had done is I downloaded the mod Dirt Paths. So we can now have nice packed dirt paths just like this. And indeed, I am going to do that. I'm going to have a path coming through here. I want to build a saloon. I'd really like to get the hospitality mod installed. Um, not for the recruiting purposes, but just to have like the saloon be a hoppy, hopping place. But I can't finish a thought. There's so many things going on here. 
Um, however, the hospitality mod's not compatible with colony manager, which I do have, but... Oh, I can do basic colony management. Okay, it's right there. So, I don't think I can install the hospitality ma mod on a in-game progress campaign that has the colony manager mod. I think I can have them both as long as I start with them both. I think. I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate or not, but unfortunately that means I might not be able to get the saloon with the hospitality mod to be a fun hopping place. Um, for right now though, oh my god, <laughs> Alicia's room is just packed with elefantes. This bed up here needs to be set for Alma. Welcome to the bed, Alma. The bed of champions, as they say. And now I'm sleeping instead of building these roofs, which I really need to. Who's my other constructor? Nimble. Nimble, you're actually locked in... <laughs> this is... I'm just gonna sleep until all my poor trees are dead. It's all I'm gonna do. It's all I'm gonna do. Well, at least I did get all of my tobacco hauled into a place where it's covered, so that's good. Oh, I think, uh, was it Keo mentioning that I really need to give Cinnamon a deputy's badge? She earned it from shutting down that prison break. However, I don't see one around, unfortunately. If we must have had some. This was one here, but that one's rotting. Here's an exceptional one. But I, 83%. Okay, yeah, here we go. Um, Cinnamon, you deserve this. Forest sweater, deputies, marshal badge, excel excellent, 83%. What does that do for you? It's going to give you actually a little bit more social, quite a bit more social chat. What? Negative 15% mental break threshold. That's super overpowered. Aiming time, negative. This is just too good. This is just way too good. F this is like... Okay. I, mean, I could just give that to everybody and they'd all be like champions and no one would ever go on a mental break. I definitely want to have issues. Oh, but unfortunately, to do that, we had to drop the pocket watch here. Mental break threshold minus 20, global work speed minus 15. All right, social chat 25. All right, well, that's, um, we're going to haul that up oh, urgently because I think it's pretty decent. Um, yeah, these things are just too good. Like, I want to have some issues. I don't want to just have, like, no mental breaks, food for days. Like, all raids die instantaneously and just have it be like Sim Build streets a -thon. Like, I want to have issues. Issues. Um, let's see now how I'm doing on the sleeping here. Because I do have this nice new bed. My rest is coming up pretty good, it seems. How is the actual bed? It's a poor quality bed. Awful six. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, it gives us rest effectiveness 85%. Well... What are we going to do? How about this bed down here? Rest effectiveness, 90%. It's actually worse than a wooden bed. The wooden prisoner bed. 15% chance recruit on cinnamon there. And amazingly, that did not pan out for us. Speaking of amazingly, more elefantes. Haul urgently, haul urgently, and haul urgently. Now, these are probably going to be the last things I can haul urgently before we have uh, toxicity for days here. But I'm hoping that I can get up Cover our trees. I just let myself go 78, 79. I mean, the longer I let myself go, the more I'll be able to work on that, I suppose. So, oh, I didn't realize I have no place to store the meat. So we're butchering and moving all the meat up there. That's kind of dumb. So that being the case, let's come down here and actually make this raw food meat. And we'll put this priority on important. So the meat goes from here down to there. Uh, a lot quicker. Plus, I should probably actually expand this stockpile zone. Just for, this is a temporary thing anyway. There we go. Just until we get all these things butchered and made into meals. And speaking of, we got no meals. Who's the chef of this town? Cook, Alicia, Bessie, what are you guys up to? Hauling elephants. Hauling out. well, okay. That was the last one. This thing's already rotted here. Yeah, this happens every time there's a toxic fallout. I didn't even get to these guys either. I just, I can't get all, oh, look at this. Cinnamon's bringing one in as well. Beautiful. Once all three of these get in there, what should happen is that Alicia immediately goes to consume some corn. All right. But then, butcher. Yes. Beautiful. I woke up. I'm eating my meals now. I'm going to have a long, oh, what the, what the, what? Mm. Hauling sandstone blocks. My right arm is an old gunshot from a 45. Old gunshot. Interesting. It doesn't say scar. It just says old 7% pain. Wow. Okay. Disease flu on Nimble. Well, that's good because Nimble's stuck in here anyway. Disease flu on Waltz. Okay. 
Well, that's not so bad. And disease flew on Alicia. That is pretty bad because she's our only cook. And now she's going to go, what is happening? Bandit camp opportunity. Why is she? Oh, she's going to rest in the medical bed because she has the flu. So who's my other cook then? It was Bessie. What's Bessie up to? She's now butchering. Thank the heavens someone's doing it. I want to butcher these guys up before they all rot. Never mind, she's going to bed. <laughs> We're butchering, like, one elephant. Okay, never mind. Bessie, get on alert. Come up here. Just for, like, a very brief while, force butcher all the meat. Just butcher it, then you can go to bed. It won't take that long to butcher 20 elephants. <laughs> Certainly not. What are you doing now? Oh. Drop on the floor. Yes, there we go. No, that would have taken a long time, actually. Yeah, just drop everything on the... Nice! Alicia will be very happy when she comes back into this room, for sure. For sure! Item stash opportunity. We'll check out both of these things in a minute here. Uh, I just want to see what's going on with me. Nice, I'm working on this stuff. What's happening with these trees? Needs light level 51, growth rate 0, but I think it will keep them alive. Uh, build a bounded roof area just up over, like, all of the trees. Something like this, like that. Beautiful. All the way down there as well. Can't quite do this one because it's not built yet. I like it. We'll save at least some of the trees, maybe. Bessie's still throwing meat all over the place. All right. Get this one put in here as well. Sure can. Throw in this. Oh, I, what the heck? I can't cover that one tree, apparently. Oh, well. I think Bessie has... Oh, now Bessie is eating the raw meat. No, what are you doofus is doing, Bessie? Come over here and prioritize cooking really quick. Just cook a little bit. Just really quick. We got to empty up our table here. We'll have a bunch of fine meals. I know I'm working her to the bone, but I think she can handle it. Of course, Alicia had to get the flu, like, right as it was feeding time. Look at Alma sitting here with her sawed off. There you go, Alma. You can have a fine meal. You deserve it. See her wink at me there? Definitely happens. Definitely happened. All right, now, Alicia's actually down to 54. Cinnamon's at 54. Let's come over here and go to restrictions. Alicia, you're in the quarantine. And Cinnamon, you're in the quarantine. Wonderful. Everyone else is actually getting pretty high here as well, so we're going to be a little bit stuck in just a bit, bit of a minute. How am I doing? Have I got any more floors put together? I'm going to rest again? What the? What are you talking about? Not getting anything done out here as far as building the roof area. So this might have worked. Build a bounded roof area, I suppose. That's as far as I can get. But we need more constructors. Who else can construct? First of all, who can even go outside at this point? Me. I'm the only one. Me and Ulma. Ulma, can you do construction? Your construction skill is a grand total of two. You know what? For now, you're going to be on a three on construction. Help us out, please. We need the help. Never mind these bricks. Cinnamon, you're actually stuck in here because of issues. Meteorite as well has fallen. Oh, what is this? Compacted plasteel. All right. Well, that's there, I guess. Tattered apparel again on Nimble. Nimble, what's your issue with that tattered apparel? Looks like you're Deputy Sheriff's Baz. Why do you keep getting these? I thought I already dropped that. Where are you finding these trashy badges, Nimble? Stop it. Cinnamon's got her. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Doesn't she look good? Where is it? Can we see it on her? If she moves down here? No, apparently you can't. I thought you could. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Look at Cinnamon. The great, like, defeater of jailbreaks, it would seem. All right, now... Major break. Oh, that's because Bessie's still up here working on these. You know what? She can go to bed. Have a fine meal and, and go get yourself to sleep here. Meanwhile, Alma, are you working on the roofs? Yes, you are. Beautiful. And then hopefully get these walls put together and we can work on that as well. This wood, by the way, needs to be hauled urgently in case there's a raid and we, all of our doors are shut. Or stuck open, rather. And they just come right through the door. And another thing that I want to do is actually put in... I, I got the Palisade mods. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. Some of you might have seen it. I don't know if that was this episode or the one before. I want to replace some of these walls with Palisades and open up the base a little bit more when the roads come through. We'll have, like, little towers and stuff, and we can have some very interesting fights throughout the city in the future. For now, though, I need to just let it roll with this in this corner until I can survive and actually get to the point where I can get some wood and get some things going. Uh, let's also build more bounded roof areas down here. Beautiful. Some of these things I obviously don't need. Remove roof area off of, like, let's say that. 
Or ignore a roof? What the heck am I... Yeah, there we go. Ignore a roof area. There we go. Oh, there we go. I'm coming out as well. I just said there we go about five times in 20 seconds, I'm pretty sure. Need a research project. I forgot to even do that. Um, okay, so I do want some floors, and carpets might actually make some sense for the first time ever. I could actually grow some cotton and plant them because wood is so scarce and stone is kind of crazy. Another thing I could do is lighting. I want to do actually... Oh, we already did the gas-powered lighting. That's what we were doing before, I suppose. All right. Uh, in that case, let's go for carpets this time around, and let's go build some lights. Where are these going to be? Furniture? Gas lamp. These are 18 steel, two components. 35 steel, three. 35 steel, three. Let's put some gas lamps. I think we have 10 components. We do. I can put these inside here. We'll put one right next to the research bench. Keep everyone uh, working good in there. One over here in this water room. Maybe one over here as well. That'll be sufficient. Basically, anywhere there's someone who's working, I want to give them a, a, a lamp. Maybe in the prisoner's room, and you know what? I'll have one. Speaking of, I built myself this really nice sculptor's table, and I never put it to use. So let's make a huge statue of a colonist. I'm going to do this one time. Uh, take the best stockpile is fine. I want to make it out of marble, though. M only the marble, because it's going to be like a, just a nice, fancy-looking thing. I think marble has higher beauty than the other ones, but I can't remember if that's correct. Now, if I have this set up correctly... I shouldn't do art until the very end of everything else being done, and that is exactly what's going to happen. Feeding elephant meat to Walt. Okay. Well, have some raw elephant meat, Walt. Join the colony, please. It's a it's a great fun time for everybody. Item stash opportunity. Umboss, chief of the Black Rock amalgamation. We need trade beacons. This is another issue where I don't have trade beacons again for like the 400th time. So I can't accept this. Plasteel Curious. Steel. Pocket Watch. Jacket. Nah, none of this is super good, really. That's okay. Um, we're going to reject it. I can't do it anyway because I don't have trade beacons. I'm not even sure you can build them with this Steam mod. Yay! Saving trees! Maybe. Or possibly also killing them. I don't know. One of the two things will happen here for sure. I'm up to 36%. Alma's up to 23%. She's fine. Nimble's actually down to 41%. We could probably uh, have him come out and do more. Bessie, how are you doing? You're hauling wood. Thank you. That was the one haul urgently so I could shut the door. And you should be now feeding elephant meat to Erin. Well, I suppose. Now we should be cooking for days. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. Awesome. And now you're going to go tending to Alicia. Bloody freaking... Just, just cook... Just cook, you doofus. You don't need to do all these crazy things. Just sit there and cook. Everyone's eating raw meats. Perfect. Many fine meals in the whole colony. What do I hear out here? People constructing bricks? Possibly. Yeah, there's some down here. Let's do a few more. What the heck is this now? Bolt goods trader. Build a bounded roof box. Let's just cover all of my trees. Good, 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 good. Alma's got the last few trees coming in here in just a second. And I would really like to do something like that. Awesome. They're all covered now. I love it. All right. I think Cinnamon's my de facto talker. Who are these guys and who do? where do I trade? There we go. Starling. Let's go trade with Starling and see what they, uh, see what they want. Okay. Here's an interesting thing. All of this meat is rotting, right? So I have an opportunity to sell it since I'm not going to get that many meals out of it. And that's a pretty good idea, because I can get 800 free silver, basically, from them. And anything else that I want, like, say, wood. They've got 200 wood. Let's take all of their wood, and I'm going to sell them maybe all of my elephant meat. Is that human human meat? Why the hell do they have 546 human meat? What are you guys doing? Uh, all right, selling all of my meat here, I can get all their wood and still come out with earning all of their money. Anything? Oh, you know what I'd actually rather do than sell meat? Oh boy, these guys, they won't buy slaves. Never mind. They're not slave traders. That's all, These are all my guns and whatnot. I believe that they don't want. I would actually rather sell these guys some of my clothing that I don't need to free up inventory space than sell them all of that meat. Uh, is there anything else that I want from them? I could always buy like extra steel or something. Maybe some cloth, Yorkshire Terrier meat, pemmican. What else? They have a the cloth kepi? Key, keepy? I have no idea. Never heard of that before. Raccoon leather keepy. Ostrich leather paddy hat. Yes. Dromedary leather stable hand trousers? What? 
Six percent. Six percent. Dang, that is so good. These things are crazy. Oh my lord. Look at all these good clothes. We can sell them. All right, let's sell some of this stuff that's like a little bit beaten up. Peter, cloth, cowboy hat. We'll keep that. We'll sell just like some... God, these are worth so much money. It's insane. I could get rich just stripping people and selling stuff. This is why I don't like to strip many of the raiders because you, you just you earn too much money and it's just too easy to just have all the money you need for everything for forever so we'll uh cloth bandit scarf we'll sell a few things and then let's actually equalize here on the meat so negative let's say 440 okay no negative 420 uh very close let's do negative 4 to 10 absolutely 100 perfect we get all their money we sell them our meat that's rotting we sell some of our clothing and we pick up all of their wood i don't really need their steel i don't think although i could probably sell them even more stuff for steel if i wanted to i got 296 and i could use some steel you know what let's actually do it i'm gonna buy all of their steel and then why don't i sell them a little bit more clothing here cloth duster we've got like six of these things right let's just sell 78 dollars for a shoddy 87 percent duster a hundred dollars for a pocket watch what? That's absurd. Absolute absurdity. We'll sell both these shirts as well. We got a bunch of Desperado hats. You know what? Let's sell the shoddy ones. They're only worth six. Both Cowboy. That's way better than the other Desperado hat. Let's sell that as well. And then while I'm here, you know what? Let's just sell the rest of that meat. There we go. Good enough. That was a nice, nice, nice trade for us. Now... Let's get rid of this bulk goods trader. Let's go see this bandit opportunity. Shen, town sheriff of Essentba, Essentba, has sent us a message. Bandits nearby have asked us to destroy it. Oh, there's turrets. I hope there's not turrets. If we succeed, their relations will improve and they'll send us this reward. 2,800 silver. This is very, very close to us, actually. That is a fantastic mission, and it's untimed. Sure, I'll do that in the future. Not right now. We need to build up a little bit here. So we got starvation on Cinnamon because she can't get any meals. She can't get any meals because no one's hauled these meals yet because we haven't made any meals because Alicia, is, the meal maker, is in bed. And Bessie is just way more concerned with tending to waltz. Let's get rid of that. Um, no more wardening, I think, for Bessie. Or at least we'll put it on a five so it happens after cooking and we'll drop off chat entirely. Actually, no, it's still not going to happen after cooking because I think only butchering was on that. Let's go for six then and we'll drop that off entirely. There. Now, Bessie should be doing nothing but cooking all the live long... Rescuing Rage. <gasps> what happened to little Rage? Did I forget about him? Did he go... Oh, I forgot about him. Toxic buildup extreme. He's all right, though. Oh, no. Rage, I forgot about you. Where's my animal quarantine? It's down there. He'll be all right. I just forgot about Little Rage. Nice, we got our first gas-powered lamp. So that's looking pretty good. And meanwhile, Bessie is running off to tend to Waltz because she's a doctor, right? There's so many other people who can do this besides the one person in the whole colony who is the remaining cook. But I don't want to screw around with it too much because normally I do want her doing it. And let me guess, she's now going to tend to Nimble. Well, I guess they do all have the flu, so now she's going to go tend to Alicia, right? No, she's going to go rest. <laughs> well, we made one fine meal. Like, all day. Hey, speaking of, did I get more of my bricks laid? Nope, I did not. By the time this gets done, my trees are all going to die, I think. At least I'll save some of them. Being some fine meals up here, that's fantastic. Alicia's, like, sitting here with the flu untended to, and it seems like nobody really cares. However, 80% immunity, 56% flu. She's fine. Pork has rotted away. Yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about. You know what? Best oh, we don't even have any wood. Doesn't matter. We're just going to have to... Oh, she's a heavy sleeper. <laughs> so many things. Olma, please tell me you're tending to Alicia. Yes. Okay, now, Alicia, despite the fact that you have the flu, get up and work on this before all the meat rots. It's going to be soon. Bring some wood down here. Oh, yep, as I say that, there it goes. Now she's moving. Nope, prioritize cooking. Oh, there it goes. More of it. What is she doing? Moving. Prioritize cooking, I said. Get the meat on the stove before it's gone. It's going to be gone in minutes. Now she's moving. Um, 
I don't know what she's moving. She might be moving to go rest because I have better. Whatever. Fine. Okay. Whatever wood she brought over there ran out as well. Yeah. She's moving over here to go relax socially. Caravan is leaving. Fantastic. All of my meat is pretty much gone. Rage, what are you doing outside? You doofus. Me, come rescue Rage. All right, that's it. We need to do a new thing here. Let's go to restrict. Manage areas. New animal area. New animal one. We're going to call this Rage's lock up. Rage. All right, fantastic. Uh, swing over there. Zone areas. Expand allowed area. Rage's lock up Rage. Let's throw it right in here. Beautiful. And let's go for Rage and put you in Rage's lock up Rage. Beautiful. Oh, freaking. Rage got up to 81% toxicity and then got back down to 79 and was like, oh, I know. Time for a stroll. Bring it outside. <laughs> oh, the doofus. And I just ate the last meal in the colony. Bessie, you are our salvation. Grab all that wood, fill that stove back up, and cook our remaining 10 meat. Pork has rotted away. Nope, she made one meal and she ate it. And now she's going to go tend to waltz. And there goes the rest of the meat. Well, that all happened. Let's unsuspend the simple meal then, and let's actually bump it up to 40. We made about six fine meals there, I think, total. Go to 30 there on the pause queue. Nimble, you look to be needing treatment from Bessie, who's not cooking, of course. Okay, you've been tended to. Wonderful. What's the deal with this stockpile here? This should be important. Okay, what's the deal with this stockpile? That's preferred. Yeah, this one should get hauled pretty quick. Should get hauled pretty quick whenever anyone has anything to haul. Alma went to go eat her meal down here. That's good. Bessie, please cook. Mm, okay, let's actually grab all this stuff and haul it urgently. Maybe this rice here as well. She cooked for like one second. Rage is no longer incapable of walking. Bessie's going to go relax socially over here instead of right next to this table over there, which is fine. Ah, here we go. Let's build a bounded roof box here over some of my trees, as many as them as I can possibly cover, which is not enough. There. All right. Now, at long last, Bessie is done tending to people, healing people, dealing with Alicia falling asleep, taking a nap herself, watching the meat rot, and now she can finally cook for days. Interesting that she's coming out here to get this corn instead of just using the corn that's right there. What do I have the stockpile? Refill of less than 25. Okay, she should just stand here literally and cook non-stop. That's what she's doing. And then now what is she doing? She's going to go feed a meal to Alicia. Boy, that flu. The flu itself didn't imp- Oh no, and now Cinnamon was knocked up. <gasps> Cinnamon has 80 per- <sighs> Cinnamon, you're in the quarantine. How are you at 80%? In the qu- Oh wait. What is this 80% showing me? Malnutrition? Your toxic buildup's actually only 36%. How did you get to 81% malnutrition, Cinnamon? How is that even a thing? Like, legitimately, I don't understand how that... How... Oh, because you were locked in here and there's no meals and we've been waiting for the meals and you wouldn't go out to get a meal. Okay, now I understand. All of this relies, though, on Bessie cooking up enough meals that these things get filled and the rest of them get hauled over there. Right, I had forgotten about that. We should be okay, though. Cinnamon, where are you? Did someone feed you? No, no one has fed you, but someone will. Presumably right now. Yep, Bessie's gonna go deal with it. Okay, that was the problem. Mental break self-harm on Erin because she's starving. Yeah, that does make some sense. We haven't really gotten around here. Bessie's tending to waltz. Um, did I build more bricks up here? I did. I did, 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 did. Let's build a bounded roof box then over as many of those fancy trees as I can possibly cover, which is unfortunately not enough of them. Oh! Oh, I think I can do this one to there. And I don't even need these guys. So let's get rid of this. Cancel. This one over there. Cancel. Awesome. Back to the roof box again. I still do need this one, though. I don't really need to... Well, that one I can't get. Oh, well, we got most of them. What about down here? We're starting to get someplace, which is not anywhere near enough. I think we need to do that to actually make those connected, but I'm not 100% sure. And that's about it. Okay, well... There we go, I suppose. How is our um, toxicity going? I'm up to 56, so as soon as I'm done with this brick, I think I'm going to let the, the game go here.
You know what? That's actually almost the entire thing. So maybe I'm good. Maybe I don't even need that brick. You know what? Let's just cancel it. We'll just we'll let that live as it is. I mean, it'll have to suffice. And I, nothing. All these things already died over there. Or this thing's covered. That's covered. This is covered. As good as we can do. So at this point, I am at 58%. Let's get me into the quarantine. I'm down there. Beautiful. Bessie and Alma, the only two that are not. Nimble, you can actually come out now. You've gotten yourself, you're unrestricted. You've gotten yourself down to 26. Alicia's down to 38. She can come out if she wasn't already. Uh, Bessie's down to 43. We kind of do need to restrict her, but she's the only one who can cook right now. If she ever even gets around to doing it, which is really just not happening. But, oh, Alicia woke up now and she's dealing with it. Fantastic. Oh, holy bananas. This is not a grim sight to behold, huh? Death in 16 hours with Erin and she's still wandering around. And now she's on the ground. Fantastic. Someone should come in there and take care of that. Yep. Thank you, Alicia. Of course, <laughs> all the doctors in the town just happen to be, wouldn't you know, the chefs as well. I've never had so much food and or so much uh, ingredients for food and had so little food for such a persistent period of time. Who is starving? Cinnamon. The only reason Cinnamon's starving is because she's restricted to this room. And she's actually low enough that we don't need to restrict her anymore. Let's come back here and allow Cinnamon out of the quarantine. She can go eat whenever she wants. I'm the only one in the quarantine. Alma as well is getting pretty close at 50%. Let's put her back into it then. Good. Disease infection on Erin. Well, no surprises there whatsoever. Left shoulder. But we hit, hit that up in record time. There we go. Look at this, guys. The meals, they're coming in. They are coming in. Finally. I actually have more meals than I can even hold. Let's, did, I, did I not make a stockpile here, an overflow stockpile? I did. There's one right there, but it's not overflowy enough. So let's overflow it some more and overflow it some more and overflow it some more. Beautiful. All right. Now we can see that we actually have 30 meals. These things should get hauled pretty quickly. And we should be okay. Boy, what a mess this has been. Just what a mess. Let's actually unmedicalize this one bed so Alma can sleep in it so she's restricted to that room down there. And Simon, what are you up to? Consuming a simple meal. Attempting to recruit Waltz. I want to have her clean this, but I want her to do it of her own volition. She's at a 14%. Oh, there we go. Look, didn't have to touch her. She's just taking care of it for us. 14% is surprisingly high considering the state of this room right now. But Cinnamon is definitely cleaning the whole thing up. Okay. Please go away, Toxic Fallout. Please, you're the worst thing in the game. Uh, but I did save some of my trees, so I guess there's that. You know what? I could actually probably set these to sowing again. Not that it's going to matter because they're not going to grow, but they'll be planted for when I can take the roofs off and let the sunlight in. And also, this doesn't hurt me to go out there and plant them because I'll be underneath. Oh, wow. Apparently, some of these heal roots actually survived and grew to maturity inside of this toxic fallout. Very surprising. God, Cinnamon hasn't cleaned in a long time. Psychic drone here. Oh, something. Oh, it's a raid! They'll prepare for a while and then attack. Psychic drone. Every colonist of the female gender winces in pain. That's great since I have all females. And lastly... A group of bandits from the Dart Gang. Those are the guys whose little outposts we're going to go destroy soon. Looks like they're preemptively attacking us, knowing that we're going to go destroy their outposts. Ooh, I have some tobacco I can get ready to go here as well. All right. We got some bandits. Oh, no. I never built my thing over here. Okay. Everyone have guns, at least. So, Nimble does, yeah. Long range. Cinnamon, the other long range character. Let's go aim shot on the two of them. Beautiful. Alma's got her sawed off. Snapshot, good. Alicia has got the Colt. Snapshot, good. Bessie, what even does she have? Revolver, okay. Snapshot, good. And I've got just my stabby stabby, which is fine. Now, I could give myself another gun. It doesn't really hurt me to have it, to be entirely honest. A superior bayoneted Springfield 1822, you say? Hmm... I'm a terrible shot, but you know what? You only get better at shooting by shooting, so musket ball and that. So I don't think... Do I have a thing set up for myself? Manage loadouts, select loadouts. Me. I do have one I set up here. Herbal meds, medicine. Uh, let's see. 1822. Bayoneted Springfield. I think that was the one. 
Let me make sure that is the case. Bayonet is Springfield. Yes, it is. And then I'm going to need some probably musket balls for this as well. How many of those do I have? I don't know. Probably a billion. Let's go up to assign loadout, select loadout me. I'm going to need to find musket. Okay. Can I go to infinite? Musket ball. There they are. And let's give myself like, say, 30 of those. Honestly, though, with how fast that thing reloads, 20 is going to be more than I need, like, of all time. Good. Get that taken care of. And we're pretty much ready to go here. How is our toxicity? We're fine. 49 on Nimble, 49 on me. That's not fantastic, but it will suffice. At this point, I feel like everyone's got to get over here. Bessie cannot be allowed to go to sleep if for some reason she had ideas of going to sleep right now. Definitely not what we want. And otherwise, I'm thinking pretty close to now is a good time to get everybody ready. Let's get in and just prepare. Get in in the back room and prepare. Nimble's got the long range, so let's put Nimble down here with Cinnamon as well. They may actually just avoid this entirely, and we could have a giant nightmare on our hands. Let's get Alma right there. Uh, Alicia here. I think Bessie will put, like, right here in the middle. Where the heck did I go? I'm down over there. Can, did I ever pick up all my stuff? I don't think I did. Let's have me quickly come up here and equip that. Springfield. Where's the musket balls? I th oh! Oh, I wanted the light cavalry saber as well. I thought it would go to my secondary thing. Yeah, so the combat extended is not compatible with simple sidearms, which is odd. Manage loadout, select loadout, me. Okay, let me just find the saber then. 1860, is that the one? Yes, it is. All right, let's have me come up here and pick up. Okay, and now hopefully I'm going to go pick up some ammo. Where are those them musket balls, eh? 45, 12 gauge. Do I have any? Winchester. I assume that I did, but I don't actually see any. No, I think I left them outside to rot. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, well, here they come. Um... Unless there's some outside right now, there's not. All right. Uh, gear. Okay, the sidearms is working down there. All right. Let's get me on alert. Get me up here. And here they come. They're coming right through the place. I didn't want them to come. They're probably going to do all kinds of stuff. This is going to be a madness and mayhem situation for sure. For sure. Come on, guys. Hit some traps and come down here. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Nice, they hit a couple traps, one of them went down. The rest of them, though, just walking right through like nothing happened. And nobody seems to care in the slightest about the fact that I'm down over here facing this direction. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Okay, so we're going to have to come up with a plan of attack here. I think the plan's going to be someone with a long-range capacity, like Cinnamon, comes around that corner. Maybe Nimble as well, although we don't have any place to shoot there. But you know what? OD's coming around, and he's just... Uh, He's a guy who does not have very much melee capacity. Hopefully these guys decide to come up here and greet us cordially. I would love that. Oh, nice critical clerk, major break wrist. That's not very nice. Where are they going? Mu is up here melee attacking the wooden wall. How is Mu doing? Stab in the torso, probably from a trap. Rissa, same deal. Right arm, no danger. This doofus up here, he got stabbed in the neck and apparently instantaneously died. He had a superior Henry rifle as well, all right? We're missing, oh, oh, nice, OD wrecked. Nimble, you're pretty much, I think, safe where you are. You might be able to take down Speedy. Yep, looking good. <gasps> oh my God, they're coming in everywhere. Moo's up there doing some stuff. These guys are flooding my base, Cedar. I will spill your blood till it rains down from the skies, says Cinnamon. God, of course she says that, of course. Why wouldn't she? Let's have her shoot Speedy, though. Come on, guys. It's Nimble, Nimble now. <laughs> nice shooting, guys. Let's get inside, though, because they're coming out after you. And I do not want you guys taking unnecessary damage. Meanwhile, back up here. Looks like we took out Kenneth without even me paying attention. NG has made it to the uh, embrasures here, and I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing. You know what I should do? Let's get me charging out with NG here. Uh, let's go charge NG. Cinnamon and Nimble both taking shots, but missing horrifically. Dangerous to move myself out here like this. Ooh. Cinnamon, if you wouldn't mind getting to that door and shooting Wiz while he's busy doing I don't know what. All right, that didn't work out for him. We took down Engie here. Meanwhile, oh, he's running through all the trail. <laughs> nice work, Cinnamon. Back to the corner there. I'm just running in circles for no good reason. Let's get nimble up to this doorway. We got Nessie over here running around. Our poor table's getting shattered. Nice, Cinnamon. Look at that. Take this pig, she says, shooting down Nathan. Holy. All right. 
Well, at this point, I'm feeling like I'm ready to get out there and charge for days. Get out there and charge, guys. I want to go have me charge down Rissa. Cinnamon's still shooting. Nimble's got shots everywhere. Nimble, take any old shot you want, Nimble. Okay, Alma, if you wouldn't mind running. Oh, they already broke through that wall up there. But you know where they haven't broken through is over here. If I could get over there. Alicia, by the way, took a shot. How's she doing? No immediate danger. Right sh shoulder. Round ball. Why aren't you real? Oh, I don't think because he has a spring field as well and we shot all of our musket balls is why. I see. So Nimble, put yourself off alert. You can go put fires out. I'm running over here. Cinnamon just reloaded. Beautiful. Our steel door is holding these guys at bay. Oh, boy. Alma. Alma. Come on, reload that sawed off. Oh, no. Get out there. Get out there. They broke through the steel door just in the nick of time. Come on, guys. We need to chase these guys down. Chase them down. Nice, Alma. A little bit of the old pepper shot. Come on up there. Come on, Cinnamon. Long range. Nope. Ooh, actually, she took a shot, but it didn't quite work out. Here we go. Alma, watch. The <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Come on, Alma. Move. Move. Get up there. Take down Rissa. We gotta get the last one. Why is everyone revol- I'm freaking reloading. Shoot! Cinnamon! Oh. Oh, well. Well, all things considered, that's not bad. They broke through our door. They lit a little thing on fire. A bunch of them went down. What did they drop, Peter? Uh, way more ammo than I could ever really want. Order weapons than I could ever really want, I suppose. No musket balls, though. Superior thing down there as well. Colt cartridge. What about up here? Nope. Superior will turn that on. Awesome. All right. Well, yeah, we are uh, we got these spring fields with musket balls, but we got no musket ammunition. I do have 10 million of everything else, but just not the musket balls. Let's see if we want to capture any of these people. Uh, Nathan here is looking like a abrasive slowpoke. Eh, he does like the cooking, and he likes the shooting. And that's it. But he's a slowpoke and he's abrasive. So he's probably not the best character in the universe. By the way, look at everyone's moods right now. They are really low. Alicia as well needs to go get some t uh, treatment. And she is going to the one medical room to do exactly that. Let's check out Kenneth really quick. Ooh, neurotic medicine. Global work speed plus 20. That's actually really good. The thing is he can't really do much else though. He can craft. He's not, like, he doesn't love it, though. He's incapable of cooking art intellectually. He's a bad shooter, though. Someone who loves medicine who's neurotic would probably not be a bad addition to the colony. To be frank. How's he looking? Nine hours? He might be pretty good. Death in 0.5 hours. Unfortunately, we're not taking this down. Crafting, construction, she would be great. Well, he's lazy. Mm, yeah, and then whiz down here, slothful, trigger happy, animal social. I think I'm gonna go for Kenneth this time around. Uh, let's swing over here. We already have one one room there. Bessie, what are you doing? You're relaxing. Before you do that, capture the Kenneth. Let everyone else bleed out. I'm not gonna capture all their gear or whatever. It's just it's too much money. It's just too much money. Good lord. Every time a raid shows up, they deliver me three thousand gold and like stuff. I just need to wait to sell it. Hey, does someone want to take care of Alicia? Maybe. Alma, you're right there. Tend, tend to Alicia before she, like, gets an inf- There she goes. She's, like, very happy now. She wasn't too happy until that happened. Woo, need a joy source? What? Did they break my jump rope or whatever the heck it was? What kind of new joy sources can I put in? Uh, we got a bookcase. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. We can put a bookcase... Well, there's no place to put a bookcase. We'll just leave the horse. We'll just rebuild a horseshoe pit out here someplace, I guess. The only problem is no one can really use it because of all of the um, toxic fallout. Right. Maybe I actually have one out there and just no one can use it. I thought they destroyed it, though. I thought it was, like, right around here. Unless it's... Oh, it's right there. Oh, you know what? We already had the blueprint for it. Let's cancel that. It's just that everyone's restricted to this down here. Nimble is at 51. I'm at 51. Let's go to restrict. Make sure Nimble is in the quarantine. Yep. Uh, another thing I could do. I guess I could, uh, bookcases are too much wood. I could put another horseshoe pin down here, though, just for now. This is like our multi-use room, apparently. Ooh. All right. Well, there's guys all over the place bleeding left and right. Kenneth, did you ever get tended to? No, of course not. Someone needs to get over there and tend to you, like, right now. Who is the best doctor? I think Alma can do it. Tend to down prisoner. Was she the best, though? I don't actually remember. Come over here. Doctoring. Whaler doctoring. Medicine. Uh, 11. Alma's a 14. Yeah, she is the best. All right. 
Let's make sure she gets in there and takes care of Kenneth. Disease infection on Kenneth. All right, well, we're there just in time to take care of him. So there we go. Take care of that gunshot. Patch up his infection. And let's see what we can do as far as recruiting. Chat and recruit. 58%. Boy, that's going to be easy. Easily peasily. You know what's not easy, though? Getting wood. Good lord. All right. Well... I guess that's the end of the episode. Not the best episode in history, but honestly, whenever there's a toxic fallout, it's like my heart just sinks because it's so painfully boring to try to like narrate a toxic fallout. It's like, all right, let's lock everyone up and not do anything. And then I'll try to imagine something to say for 50 straight minutes while we're all locked in a hubby, like cuddling. <laughs> it's just like, what do you even do? What do you do in that circumstance? Well, you struggle through it apparently. Uh, which is exactly what we did here. Hopefully, once we're returning, this, like, season-long toxic fallout... How long has this actually been here? Eight days, almost nine full days. Hopefully, this thing goes away, and we can get the show back on the road. We really need to get the wood. I'm going to put some dirt paths in here. We're going to build some nice palisades with some of that wood. We're going to get some, like, little towers here and there and everywhere. We can put people in and have a very interesting time uh, defending... And I want to really get a saloon going as well, but it's just going to take more time. It is just going to take more time. Hopefully my trees don't die. But I don't think they die when they have no light. Or maybe they do, actually. I just think it takes a long time. I can't remember. Either way, I think this is sort of working. They would have all been dead to toxic fallout. In fact, if I look around, that yes, another thing with toxic fallout. It kills every animal. It kills every plant. It kills every tree. And it makes the screen this hideous, hideous, ugly green. It's like you couldn't have invented a more terrible thing to add to a game than Toxic Fallout. Uh, but, once we're returning, hopefully it subsides. And we can get this show on the road. Maybe. Or we'll have another whole episode. Oh no, little Rage is starving! Someone, Alicia, you gotta go feed Rage, he's hungry. No, don't fire at Rage. Someone wake up and feed Rage. No! Why can no one feed Rage? Oh, because it's it's animals? It's it me. I can do it for sure. Where even am I? Oh, I'm in this bed. No! Uh, I'll, I'll deal with this when I return. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Cinema, if you wouldn't mind getting to that door and shooting Wiz while he's busy doing I don't know what. All right, that didn't work out for him. We took down Engie here. Meanwhile, oh, he's running through all the trap. Nice work, Cinnamon. Back to the corner there. I'm just running in circles for no good reason. Let's get Nimble up to this doorway. We got Nessie over here running around. Our poor table's getting shattered. Nice, Cinnamon, look at that. Take this pig, she says, shooting down Nathan.